In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make floppy disk images, like the old um, high density floppy disks, like uh, three and a half inch, 1.44 megabyte, or a uh, one and a one point two uh, megabyte, uh, five and a half inch floppy disk drives, or whatever. Basically, uh, this is very important if you want to use uh, certain types of emulators like PCM or eighty six box, or uh, or even a uh, DOS box if you want to like um, mount uh, floppy disks and install it onto your. Uh, emulator or whatever so um or if you have the original files and you have the discs for it, like a floppy disk or whatever and you want to turn it into an image file so you could use it in an emulator um a program like a uh, win image is is pretty useful in that you can you can uh you can make uh, floppy disk drives and use it on emulators. There's different versions of a Win Image. This is the latest version. Uh, you could download this one, and just uh, it's not going to install anything in your computer. You could just unzip it and use it, basically. And I'll show you how to do that next. There's like a 30 day trial period and you have to register it. If you like it, you could buy it. If you want to buy it, uh, you could uh, basically. Let's see how much it costs. It costs about $30 if you decide to register it and buy it. But today I'll just be using the trial version. I may buy it in the future. So let's begin. Okay, so now I'll be showing you how to do this. Um, I got the software in this computer. And I just basically unzipped it, this program right here. I unzip the files and put it into this folder. Just like so. I already did that already, so I'm not going to do that again. And I have some files that I want to convert into floppy disks. These three files. And I'll show you how to do that. So what I did was basically put a program on the desktop so I could access it more easily, like so. Start it up. Okay. So it shows that it's unregistered because it's unregistered. Just downloaded it today to use it. So I want to create this as a floppy disk. So what I do is I get the files here and move it in there just like this and select a uh, format. I will select 1.2 megabytes. Okay, put those in there. To create the disk, you just click on the disk then, disk icon. I'm going to be using PCM, but and the format that is supported out of here is uh, .ima. .imz is not supported, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to call it disk1. Now that's done, I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to make another one. Select 1.2 megabytes again. Okay. Just to put all that in there. Yes. Start. I'm going to call that disk 2. 
and that's going to be im dot ima again. Select new. 1.2 again. Go here. Drag that in. Yes. Like IMA. Call it this three. Sequences it out automatically, which is a great feature. I'm going to make a copy of this as well. New one. This time I'm going to select 1.44 megabytes. Put all files in there. Okay, and I'm going to call it Call it Groove One. Actually, I should call it Groove Two. Um, let me change that around. Okay, I changed the groove to um, go to group one. Put all that in there as well. Actually, I have to press new 1.4. Yes. Call it Groove 1. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to PCM. And I'm going to see if I could open the files. Okay, so now I'm going to start PCM. I'm going to insert a disk. The one that I created here was 1.2, right? So I'm going to select that. Actually, I better select the right disk. I think B drive is 1.2. Megabyte floppy disk. See if that works. Okay, that's the one that I put in. That's the one that I made earlier. I want to try something else. What if I in eject that? What if I try to put that in A drive? What would happen? Would that work? Since it's a 1.2 megabyte disk. Well, it doesn't work because it's not the right format. I selected the wrong drive. So I guess I'll have to eject A and let's eject, let's put in another disk, change B to that. That's also 1.2. Okay, that worked. Okay, that's one point two as well. Next one, I want to do another test. This time I have to put it in disk A because that's 1.44. In my system, A drive is 1.44 megabyte high density. And the B drive is 1.2 megabytes.
Okay, that's that's right. I'm gonna change. Okay, that's it. Um, that's how you uh, make floppy disk drives. Or if you have a floppy disk, you could uh, get the files from the floppy disk via, I guess, a floppy disk drive. It could be a USB floppy disk drive or something. Or in my case, I have a computer that has a floppy disk drive because it's a Pentium 4. And then you could get the files from there and you could turn it into a uh, floppy disk format, like a 1.2 megabyte, five, five and a quarter inch. Or you could turn it into a uh, other formats, other type of floppy disk as well, like 2.44 megabytes or whatever. That's how you do it. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.